Hey guys, the Liz and Fractions is a pact. I'm back with another sewing video. Basically, I decided that I would make this a two-part video because this is taking me forever. So, um, I did start making a Christmas, um, skirt that's made out of green wool. And I just decided that I was going to also make an 1890s sweater, bicycling sweater. And I thought I'd make these into two separate videos instead of one because I initially was doing them as one video and then I realized that this is way too much content for one video so I'm currently working on the sweater and I um you will see all the progress from before all the stuff I filmed but um I just thought I'd give you an intro all right, so I'm currently working on making this pattern for the sweater um I'm not gonna show it to you right now because it's out on my table but I will show it to you when it's completely cut out. I have drafted it out as best as I think I can, um, which is why I'm making a mock up. Um, and so now I'm gonna go and cut it out, and then we can start on the mock up. Hopefully, if this pattern is correct, I'll make the mock up, make any changes that are needed, hopefully not too drastic, and then hopefully it'll be good and I can just start making it. Oh, <laughs> it's like almost 10 o'clock now. But I've officially cut out all of the mock-up pieces out of this bed sheet that I have. Um, we have the front and back piece, we have the sleeves, bottom sleeves, and the top sleeves. I did cut out two of the sleeves and stuff, I know I said I was only going to make one. I just like wasn't thinking when I was doing it and then I just decided whatever, maybe I'll just mock up two sleeves if it doesn't take that long, who knows, or maybe I won't. I don't really know right now. Round test number one. I think the bottom portion of this is pretty good. Um, I'll probably make it a little bit, give it more seam allowance there. But the bust, it's killing me. It's like so tight. I just like uh, uh, feel like I'm dying right now. But um, I think I just need to add some extra inches. Obviously, definitely to the bust because something is going wrong here. Um, I think the length is awesome. I love how long this is. I love the length of this. I feel like every shirt I make is, like, short. And so every time I wear a skirt, like, the back is popping up and the front's coming out. Like, this is extra long. Love it. Beautiful. And I think this part is fairly, fairly decent. I don't know if I need to add too much to this. Um... Maybe I'll just add like an inch in the very bottom part, just, but it seems to fit pretty okay down here, like it's not bad. But this, up here, uh, <coughs> feel like I'm dying. I literally feel like I'm being suffocated in this thing. But, I'm just trying to get a read on the arm die. I think the arm thigh is okay. It's just so tight right here that it's hard to judge anything else right now. Sadly, I think I'm going to either have to re-cut this out and sew it or add something in here and see if that helps at all. I also had really had not really much of um, an idea of what I was doing when I was drafting this pattern, so that could also help. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to recut this. It was super easy to sew this. And once, if I actually can do this, this will look amazing. Sorry you can't see my face. I am so excited. I really hope this turns out because just trying this on, minus the bust area, which was really, really horrible, the bottom portion of this thing was amazing. I don't know if this is dumb, but what if I just move this pattern piece up and there's a big gap at the uh, at the fold, and then that adds however many inch an inch or whatever to the whole thing. Is that dumb? I feel like that's dumb because I also feel like the bottom part down here didn't need too much added. I might add a little bit, but not it doesn't need a lot added. Whereas this needs like <laughs> ten inches added or something. Maybe not ten, but. I don't know if this is enough even to add the amount that I need. But hopefully it'll be enough that it's 
comfortable enough to wear because this fabric is also stretchy. Not this fabric, but the fabric I'm going to use is also stretchy, so maybe it won't be terrible if it's a little tight. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I've got new pieces cut out. This better work because I don't have any more of this enough. I have scraps of this, but I don't have enough of this to do, like, cut out more. So either this better work in terms of, like, not being super tight right here, or, um, I mean, obviously if it needs alterations, I can, you know, and I can alter them on here, it's fine, but if it needs to be recut out again, I can't recut it. Alright, I have sewn this. I really am really, 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 really hoping that it even slightly fits me in the chest area because that's the problem. Also, why are these necklines the exact same? That's kind of questionable. One neckline is supposed to be bigger than the other one. I feel like this neckline is definitely not going over my head. The armholes are definitely bigger. The neck hole is smaller. I'm gonna have to uh, cut some of this off. Where did it go? There it goes. Okay, I can already tell that this is going to be slightly better because it's not as tight as it def definitely not nearly as tight as it was before. The neckline is still like that, which. For someone like me, it kind of bothers me a little bit. I might take it down a little bit. But I definitely added some inches down here a little bit. So I feel like I could um, leave the sides down at the bottom. Right First off, I probably shouldn't have cut this late because I just realized I'm wearing this backwards. That's why it's choking me because it's supposed to be the back, whatever. I didn't think about that when I was putting it on, but I did come up with some conclusions. The waist is really large. It's supposed to be, like, cinched in. Especially if, like, you're wearing it with actual 1890s clothing, you'd be wearing a corset. So, I'm taking the waist in, but up here at the bust, it's, like, I'm, it's a little big, but I'm keeping that because I need that, but I'm taking the waist out. So, what I'm going to do is pin it. Trace it with this, take the pins out, take the garment off, sew it up, see if it fits, transfer all of that onto the uh, final fabric. Okay, what do we think? I'm going to look in the mirror to make sure it looks good, but it's, it, I could put it on this neckline. I put it on right and uh, turned it around this time, the neckline still, so I am taking the neck down a little neckline down a little bit at some point because that's going to bother me. I think this is a success. Now I'm going to work on the sleeve mock-up and I have no idea how to do that so I'm going to look at the instructions for that and yeah I think this part has it's a success. Okay here's the sleeve. This is a little bit better. It's still tight. I need didn't really add the seam allowance. I just measured like six inches and ten inches I mean, 7 inches and 10 inches, and I was like, oh. As I was done sewing, I was like, oh, I guess I should have added seam rods. But it's pretty tight, but also, I don't know if this is actually, like, perfect like this because the fabric is a little stretchy, so this might actually be, like, correct. But there's a sleeve. This actually got on my arm. I'm going to add, like, maybe, like, half an inch or a little less. Um, just a tiny bit of inches, but not uh, a full inch or anything. Um, but it fits my arm, so there's that. Okay, so... <laughs> we, <laughs> we have a sleeve. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one big giant problem is that it is way too uh, tight right here. So I need to make this part bigger in the final product and the whole sleeve needs to be just a little bit bigger as 
specifically down here so that I can fit my hand through it better. But up here is way too tight now that I sewed this on. So I definitely need to make it bigger. Um, <laughs> my arm feels constricted right now. It's, yeah, okay. It's kind of hard to get this over my elbow. Um, now I have to sew the sleeve to the bodice. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I will be really, 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 really disappointed if I can't make this before Christmas. Also, if I don't finish this before Christmas, I'm going to finish it next week and wear it to my family Christmas party. But oh my gosh, I am absolutely obsessed with this sleeve. I... I have, let, let's, let's just have a situation. Basically, I have wanted to make 1890s giant sleeves and clothing with giant sleeves ever since I started this historical fashion thing. And I have wanted to make one of these bicycle sweaters ever since the same time. Um, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I'm lazy and because I didn't have the supplies and all blah, blah, blah. I have so many excuses, right? But I'm finally attempting this and I am obsessed with this sleeve. Hello everyone. I started cutting out the fabric. Um, I came across a slight problem, but I think, I think, oh, we're gonna need some fabric for a collar. Hopefully that, uh, we might need some fabric for some cuffs. Mmm, this is gonna be tricky. Basically, I cut out the front and I am, I just traced out the, the, the puff sleeve. I cut out the front and the sleeves, the bottom sleeve. Now I'm cutting out, I traced out the top sleeve, getting ready to cut that out. Um, I didn't, I was going to do the front and the back, cut those out, but the, then I realized that this isn't going to work the way I wanted it to. It's not going to fit, right? So I think I can do it in a sort of pieced way. What I'm going to do is cut out the top sleeve that I have traced out here. And then for the bodice of the back, um, with this leftover, it should be able to cut it out, just not on a fold. So there's going to be a seam down the back. Hopefully it won't be super noticeable or terrible looking. Um, there's not going to be a seam in the front, so at least the front will look nice, right? I didn't realize this wasn't enough fabric. And then there, hopefully, there's some scraps here and hopefully a little bit left up here that I can attempt to either piece together or, you know, do something to make the collar with. Hello everyone, it's officially Wednesday. I have been sewing this bodice. I don't know if you can see how much I've, like this stuff is super stretchy and I don't know if that's why I had to like cut so much off, I'm guessing so, but I made it like on the sides, I made it an inch bigger and on everything else, I made it just a little bit bigger for seam allowance. The inch I gave because I wasn't sure, I just wanted to make sure it fit, but the, it, every time I put it on, it's way too large. So um, I think the armholes are pretty close. So I think up here is good enough, I don't know. I mean, there still seems to be a lot of fabric everywhere in the sides, but the armhole is getting really small. So I think the the uh, bust area is good. I'm going to take in the waist some more, and I'm going to take in the bottom, I think. Okay, so here we go. Got some wings. Um, I took it in, and then I took it in again at the top as well because it did need taken up at the top as well. So this is what it looks like in all of its glory. And I don't know if you can see that giant flabbies. Obviously those are gonna get cut off, but I think this is good enough. It's pretty tight now. It's good good as it's going to get at this point. This is the current situation. I hemmed the bottom of this. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I did a zigzag stitch around the armholes and the neck hole.
kind of like in place of like a searcher because I don't have one because even if I did, I would basically, I don't like searchers. Um, and I sewed the sleeves bottoms on and now I have to, I gathered the sleeves sewed them to the bottoms, you know, and now I have to, um, pleat the top and add it to this and then I've got to roll up the sleeve, sew it, and do the collar. Alright, so I have officially sew started sewing the um, sleeves on to the bodice. I have to I sewed them on the machine, but I had to re-sew the armholes because a bunch of the pleats um, didn't get caught in there or whatever. I don't know. It was just it's not working right on the machine. Like, it's, it's sewn around, but then there's pleats that aren't sewn in that need to be sewn in. So I'm just hands right now, basically. But I need to take a very large break because I absolutely must sew something else. Basically, a Christmas present that I need for Christmas Day. So, hopefully this won't take me too long because I'm like, doing this on my machine. All I gotta say is that I really want to make one of these for myself now. Like, I've always, I already wanted to make one of these, like, forever ago for myself. I was actually trying to make one last year and failed. But now I even want one even more because I've actually made a successful one. So now I really even more so want one for myself because it's just so cool looking. Okay, so I just got finished with this arm haul. I decided to attempt to cover up all the raw edges with this. Um, I did that on one of them. I will do it on the other one later. So I just found out that I went to all that work for no reason. I'm going to have to clean this off because it goes to like here on my arm. It's supposed to be a piece. And it's too tight to just keep it. So, yeah, I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm going to ask you to do that. I'm going to ask you to do that. I'm going to ask you to do that. If you were to know, I almost feel like these are going to be just my hand big. The other side, on this bottom, it's not even like this, but I almost feel like it's a little bigger. But I feel like it's not like bad enough, but it's fine. It'll work. Yeah, but I feel like if I were to make this again, I would make it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just trying to get bigger. It's like a towel. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just trying to get bigger. I'm just trying to get bigger. This was really bulky anyway. I thought maybe this would like work, but it didn't. So. I don't even know how you tell what's the front and the back. Oh, the back is the seat, that's right. <laughs> sound when I put this on. That's definitely... I still feel like this is kind of far down. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But... I actually came up with an idea that may help with that a little bit. I don't know if it'll help, but I came up with an idea just now because there is, like, I can stretch this quite a bit, so you probably can't see this. I'm sorry. But look at the sleeve. It's beautiful. And I love that the sleeves are actually really long. I think they're actually supposed to be up there, but because it's not going on the shoulder quite correctly, It's kind of sagging the wrong way. I'm having 
major issues in the shoulder area. I did throw up that back theme again just because there was it felt like there was a lot of room in the back and then that was fine. It obviously didn't do anything to the sleeves. I didn't think it was going to. Um, basically I had to remove the sleeves and put them up higher. Like change the shoulder seam and put the sleeves up higher. So I'm gonna get the seam ripping the sleeves off. Yay! Um, one Charlie Brown later, and I still haven't even gotten half of this seam ripped. This is a pain in my neck, and I just... Mm, it's really, really a pain. So, I'm trying to seam rip this, but not only is this thread impossible to see, which is good for the final result, so you don't see any of the thread marks or anything, but it's not good for seam ripping. I'm half tempted, honestly, to just cut this. I might actually legitimately do that because I cannot stand. I can't stand it. I don't really know what else to do. Because this is taking me way too long and I don't have time. And I'm about ready to blow up because I'm so mad at this. Does this look better? I think it's better. Try to evenly cut it on both sides cut one side and then I just fold it in half and cut the other side so yeah I'm thinking that's better looking I hope what's this up, works what's up, what's up? um does this look like a bicycle link sweater or what okay I'm not completely done but I'm almost done it's almost completely done I don't know if you can see this but I just need to add a closure to the collar bit. But look at the sleeve. It's so perfect. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm going to add buttons. I'm gonna check my uh, stash and see if I have like snaps or something. So I can do like a false button so I don't want the sew button hole. So last year for Christmas, my mom got me this antique sewing box with a bunch of sewing stuff in it like it's old antique stuff and I remember that it had snaps in it okay I think I found something obviously these aren't very historical but they're a decent size they're not super tiny um they're actually pretty big I guess um and I don't know they seem like they're, they're, they're obviously modern buttons, but they seem less modern than some of the other buttons, the plasticky buttons that I have, and they're wooden, so, I don't know, I feel like this would go nicely on the collar, and it, because it protrudes out like this, it reminds me of the buttons on the, uh, ladies dress, um, the ladies sweater that, um, tutorial, tutorial thing I've been following, although hers were differently, they were more round and different looking they kind of remind me of it in the sense that they raise up like all that. right so excuse the uh shift but i am going to try the thing on this is how the buttons turned out i can tell you right now that i'm going to be obsessed with this sweater because i'm already obsessed <laughs> the sleeves are immaculately amazing there is always thread everywhere. This definitely in my But that's because I just sewed it, so gotta mm, take the glass off. Um, try not to rip the neckline. Oli boom. Okay, here is how the sweater looks. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome, but I am going to show you what it looks like with the skirt partially done. So that you can get the sense or the feel for what this is going to look like on Christmas Day.
like so. What do we I think? I the skirt off because it was falling off, but I did look in the mirror. This is the best thing I have ever sewn, ever. And I sewed it on my machine for the most part. Um, I hand sewed the cuff part, and there were some tiny things I had to hand sew, but for the most part, I sewed this on my sewing machine. Usually I prefer hand sewing, but this was a, just a quick project. That's and it for this video. Uh, the sweater is finished. I will give you a um, final look at the outfit on Sunday when I put it all together and do all the Victorian things. The outfit is going to consist of the sweater, which is Victorian, the skirt, which is just modern make, and Victorian shoes, Victorian hair. So most of it is going to be Victorian besides the skirt, which I just finished. And you will see that in part one of these, this Christmas outfit video, whatever I'm going to call this video, you will see in the title. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you're into books, check out my other channel linked below. I will see you in the next one. I hope this inspired you to go into your own sewing rooms. Bye. taking this off because I can't, I don't even know if I can get this off, so, there's also that, oh dear, it was really hard to put this on, like, I don't know if this is coming off without me cutting it open, so, did I try, did I try, I love the bottom part of this though, okay, maybe something, <sighs> getting stuck in my lockup, holy crap, Eh. Ooh. If I can get this off, this will make it easier. Okay, okay. Pulling my hair. <sighs> I'm obsessed with the sleeve. I am freaking out and it's fine. Oh my gosh. I just look it down at my sleeves and I'm like, I came in the, out of the 1890s, baby.